Hello. Today I will be discussing about the trade cycle. What is the importance of trade cycle and where does it belong? And actually, what does it mean? So this is the this is the matter of concern of today's lecture. Now, in macroeconomics is a study of aggregate economy. Okay. Unlike microeconomics, which deals with individual farm and individual consumer, my, macroeconomics deal with all the farms, all consumers in an economy. It is a big picture, you know. It is macroeconomics that measures the health of the economy and prescribes medicines in terms of policies. There are some leading economic indicators that tell us about the health of the economy. In one framework, we can represent all that is called the business cycle. So what is the business cycle? Business cycle is a one framework where we can tell about, which, which tells about the health of the economy and how the economy is is under is understood is the is the business cycle in an economy generally there are three major goals one is economic growth the second one is prevention of unemployment and the third one is inflation under control so these three goals should be considered in, in an economy. And these all things can be understood in a one framework that is called the business cycle. The long run expansion of the industrialized market economy is accompanied with is accompanied with business cycle, is accompanied with some fluctuations in economic activity. This type of fluctuation is called the business cycle. If there is a, if there is a expansion, it is followed by a contraction. If there is a contraction, then it is followed by a expansion. So expansion, contraction, and again expansion. This type of fluctuation you can find in a business cycle. A business cycle may be deep or long term, and it may be, it may be, may not be long term, but it is, it may be in short term and it is less deep. So business cycle is business cycle, is different type of business cycle in different type of economics. Now, there are five phases of business cycle. There are five phases of business cycle. One is the depression or contraction. Another is the recovery, and next one is the prosperity or full employment. And fourth one is boom or inflation or overemployment. And fifth one is the recession or a turn from prosperity to depression. Okay, now look, this is the this is the business cycle or trade cycle. This is the graphical presentation. Along the vertical axis, we measure the real GDP. And along the horizontal axis, we measure the time, the time period. So here is two curves. This is one. 
what does it mean and this is another one what does it mean this is this curve which is fluctuating rising upward and 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 has a downward sloping again there is a upward rising so this curve is the real gdp this curve is the real gdp curve over time the real gdp of a of an economy can be can be understood by this curve okay this curve this is the real gdp curve this is the real gdp curve now there is another curve that is a straight line this curve this curve is nothing but the full employment the real gdp using the full capacity of resources a country wants to achieve a country wants to achieve that that much of real gdp that is produced by the full employment by the full capacity of the of the resources of the country okay this is a trend line this is a this is a trend line this is a trend line which this is a trend line which the economy wants to achieve so if we see the curve very closely then you find two portions here this portion this portion is recession and this portion is expansion expansion so the this part this part this part this whole part is the is the is the real gdp above the above the full employment capacity of output so here is the inflation here is the inflation again if you find another place this is the this is the area where the economy belongs to that area where the real gdp is below the below the output that is produced by the full employment so here the unemployment exists here the unemployment exists and unemployment is maximum here okay unemployment is maximum here and this is the point this the inflation is maximum here okay so this point is called the peak and this point is called the trough okay so so there is a peak there is a recession there is a recession and there is a depression and there is a there is a recovery and and this is the expansionary this is the expansionary and again there is a boom again there is a boom okay so this is the overall over overall over the business cycle this is the overall business cycle so so the in in macroeconomics it is very difficult to 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 uh, to understand the business cycle because a lot of empirical empirical research should be done right and there are number of variables there are number of variables such as the such as unemployment uh, such as gdp real interest rate price level investment exchange rate this all of the variables have their own cycle have their own cycle but some some variables have the have the same phase and same the cyclical pattern that mm, those patterns those cycles 
aggregating those cycles, we get the best cycle or trade cycle. So, in the in the in in uh, in the in the post wire period and uh, and uh, and pre wire period, if you have a closer look, then the price level is declining and price level is low in the pre in pre wire period in the all stages of this cycle and in the mm, in the in the post wear period the price level is price level is increasing there is inflation in all stages of in all stages of mm, uh, business cycle a good deal of macroeconomic theory relates in one way or another to explaining the trade cycle to explaining the trade cycle and and suppose there is a there is some factors there uh, there is some, uh, some factors which is actually um, actually gener uh, the, which are actually generated uh, in in the expansionary process and that factors are responsible and or the that that uh, factors bring bring about the end of the expansionary process and induce and induce the contractionary contractionary process and induce a period of contraction and induce a period of contraction so in expansionary process there are some factors which are responsible uh, for the ending of the expansionary process and um, and and that factors um, are responsible for the uh, for the uh, for uh, for the for the generation for the generating of for the generating of contractionary process for the contractionary process so so in the contractionary process also there are some factors which um, which are which generates in that in that time and uh, and those factors bring about uh, the end of the of the contractionary contractionary process so in in that way the factors are um, some factors um, are endogenous endogenous some some take, um, uh, some macroeconomic uh, economic uh, theories tell about the um, tell about the endogenous endogenous factors that are responsible for the business cycle and uh, such as the private investment uh, if uh, there is a private investment if there is a if there is an increase in the aggregate demand then aggregate demand will um, aggregate demand then then uh, capital stock will increase as there is a capital stock um, there is an increase in the capital stock so there is an increase in investment as there is an increase in investment output will also increase increase output will also increase as there is an increase in output there is also increase in investment so there is a there is there is a process of expansionary ex, expansionary process and this process is endogenous to the business cycle okay this process is in, endogenous to the business cycle but but some economists some trade cycle analyze anal, uh, the, some economists who um, analyzed the trade cycle. They said that there are some exogenous factor. There are some factors which is out of the out of the economy. Those factors are responsible for the business cycle. Those factors are responsible for the business cycle. Those factors are called the exogenous factor, such as the money supply. Such as such as uh, such as the um, such as the population, population increase in population, change in the change uh, change in the test, or um, you can say um, the international expansion if international territories, and um, such uh, and nowadays suppose uh, the the impact of uh, coronavirus. These all are the factors uh, which uh, um, factors. That are, that are that are out of the economy and um, and responsible. Those are responsible for the business cycle. Those are responsible for the business cycle. So uh, so 
So the so overall finding, what we have found here is that there are some mm, the uh, business cycle. Business cycle is the overall understanding of the economy. If uh, what type of phase is actually an economy is passing, mm, this type of uh, this type of understanding you can find from a business cycle. It is a, it it is it is an overall scenario, and on the basis of that. Uh, I have mentioned that there are three goals of an um, of an economy, uh, such as the um, increase in re real GDP and controlling of inflation and um, and increase in uh, increase in employment rate. So this um, so these factors these factors uh, the situation of these factors can be easily um, understood from the business cycle. From the business cycle or trade cycle, so um, hope you have uh, a clear idea over the business cycle. And um, and for for today, uh, I I stop my uh, lecture here and hope you have enjoyed. Um, hope you have enjoyed this and um, thank you for. Uh,